Opposition leader Nelson Chumisa of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC has expressed worries about the safety of his followers amid political unrest following the contested elections in Zimbabwe on August 23 to 24. Following his rejection of the election results, Chumisa claims that suspected members of the governing ZANU-PF party and state security operatives are intimidating his supporters and requesting information about his upcoming actions. Although it was anticipated that Chumisa would apply to the Constitutional Court to contest the election results, he chose not to do so. Instead, he has chosen to send senior party officials on an offensive in international relations to enlist the backing of regional leaders for new elections. In a press conference, Chumisa voiced his shock at the alleged intimidation of his followers and vowed to report the incident to the appropriate authorities on a national and international level. He went to see Wambarash Nien and Sanil Mukuloni, two CCC members who had apparently been kidnapped and tortured by alleged state security officials at a private hospital in the city. The victims are presently receiving medical care. When the two CCC members' attorneys, Douglas Coulter and Tepiwa Muchinaripi, objected to their clients' police interrogations, the situation worsened. The attorneys, who were free on bail, have been accused of interfering with the administration of justice. Chumisa denounced the alleged acts of violence and highlighted that his party supports transparent, non-violent and legal action. He questioned the reasons for the torture, speculating that they were caused by people not knowing about his goals. Additionally, he charged ZANU-PF with waging a nationwide campaign of retaliation against his followers. Farai Merapaira, the acting information director for ZANU-PF, brushed Chumisa's assertions off as attention-seeking. Merapaira claimed that the law would be followed if there was hard evidence of victimization. But in the absence of such proof, ZANU-PF saw the claims as a result of internal power struggles within the CCC. To contest the validity of the most recent elections, the CCC is mobilizing support in the region. A number of critical assessments from election observation missions, including the Southern African Development Community SADC mission, have suggested that the results were not reliable. Among of the 67 regional leaders he invited, only three attended President Emerson Mnangagwa's recent inauguration. The political climate in Zimbabwe is still volatile as different parties and stakeholders saw through the fallout from the contentious elections.